The round bout. Last one. You did it on the first one as well. I don't remember. Turned right using left lane. But I couldn't let you do it that time because there's a big left only arrow and it's a lane that only goes left. You can't keep following that lane because it's you'll see on the video when you look back at it yeah. you have to go that way because if somebody's coming round on that right yeah. lane and we haven't seen them mm. this is blind spots so you can't yeah. check suddenly and let you yeah. do it you know it's just not safe so I had to just make sure mm. and then steer you off the roundabout it's the safest thing to do so right which one huh <sighs> okay it's the last one so. It's a fear. Ah. I know, I can feel it. <laughs> what can you feel, Sunita? I can feel it's feel. Okay, so that's the end of your mock test, mm. and unfortunately, you haven't passed on this occasion. So, what made you feel like you know you hadn't passed? That roundabout here. The last roundabout. Yeah. Okay, so. I guess we'll mention that because you've brung it up. So that's yeah. the very last driver fault. Yeah. yeah. It was a major fault. It was a serious fault. Yeah. So that would be for what reason? Well, why? This, this, uh, I think I, where I was there, the fourth exit, I got confused. Completely confused, honestly. All right. I did. So you heard fourth exit and your yeah. mind went, ah! Yes. <laughs> and I didn't know which lane to stand. Mm -hmm. Then I was blaming on left lane. Mm -hmm. Then I'm about to go. Mm -hmm. On left arrow, and then I was about to go around it in my head. It's like fourth exit. Yep. Like when you said, do safer thing. Yeah. I thought I didn't think about it. I'm on a left arrow or not. I was about to go around, and you put your hand there. Obviously, it's bloody feel when you put the hand there. And yeah. The wrong lane. So because that was a left only lane, because yeah. it had the left only yeah, road marking yeah. in it. Yep. That marking went <laughs> down for road markings. So yeah. It's a left only lane. Yeah. You know, so what do you need to do if you're in a left only lane? <laughs> go left. Yeah, you need to go left. <laughs> uh, All right, so I had to steer you off yeah. because if there, about, yeah. if there had been somebody in the blind spot, yeah. like a motorbike or yeah. whatever, you know, if you suddenly change direction, it's going it's to be gonna dangerous. Be so I had to grab the wheel, I yeah. had to get you off that roundabout because yeah. that's the way your lane was going. Yeah. So for that reason, I took control of the vehicle. Yeah. If your examiner needs to take control of the vehicle, then it's a serious fault. Okay. And he's built. Yes. So, so you got a major fault there. Did now, get this off. Uh, we can go and practice it another time. Yeah, make you better at that. So, <laughs> really, if you've got in instructions or directions from your sat nav or your examiner to yeah. turn right. Mm. What lane do you use? Right lane. Yes. So when you approach the roundabout, what mm. lane were you in? Well, I told you as you were doing it, I said, Sunita, you're now in the left lane. You're not allowed to use the left lane to turn right on the roundabout. So do the safest thing. But this one, yeah. It does the thing, it, this one ran bad. I was so confused. You know, the you know the stop marking lines. And I was there. I didn't even know which I'm standing left lane, which lane. All I was thinking, fourth exit, which is fourth exit. Okay. And it was like that. Now, when I came, you said do safest thing. When I saw that arrow, I said, okay, let me go this way. I didn't even think is this left or what? Let me go first exit. First, I was running counting. <laughs> I need to run up. You're so angry, myself now. Okay, now you actually, if we're going to start in numerical order, I'm going to go through the driver faults yeah. here. So in total, there yeah. are nine driver faults. Huh? Okay, <laughs> we'll go over those now. Okay. Uh, let me just make sure, actually. This way, I don't think I didn't make any other mistakes. Sorry, there's ten driver faults. <laughs> number okay. one. I thought it would be less. So we're going to start with number one. Okay. Now number one yeah. is exactly the same as number ten, which was the one we just talked about. Okay. So at the beginning of your test, your sat nav was telling you to go straight second exit. What lane did you use? But what lane do you need to use usually to go straight? Unless there's road markers to tell you other, otherwise. Was, you know, I don't remember now. So it's just a question. You don't have to remember what you yeah. did. But normally, if we're going straight at the roundabout. Straight arrow? Yeah, but let's say there's no road markings. Okay, so let's stay, no. What lane do you use to go straight? Yeah. Yes. 
So you did that. Yeah. It's really nice because you were giving commentary to yeah. say, I can go here, can use this, and then you were going towards the second exit, but yeah. instead of actually turning off and taking the second exit, you, you kept following the roundabout. So you went past the second, you went past the third, and then you drove off on the fourth. So you I actually remember. did the fourth exit turning right. But, mm. again, mm. what lane did you use? I don't remember. You used the left lane. You don't? I don't remember on this lane. It's slightly different layout, so that left that lane is... actually just keeps going round, yeah. rather than the layout that we had. It's exactly the same roundabout, but we came from a different entrance. So, you could follow that lane, and yeah. it would take you where we actually came off the roundabout. Um, where you just came off the roundabout at no. the end. Yeah. So it's the same exit you took yeah. at the first time you went there yeah. and the second time you went there, which was at the end. But mm. you approached it from two different directions. But you both times on that roundabout, you went fourth exit. Now the first time we went there, we didn't mean to, mm. and you didn't recognize it. No. And the second time you were gonna keep going round, but mm. you couldn't because the lane was actually going off, so I had to stop you. So there's a lot of confusion going on there. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> you need to have a routine. Mm. The routine's really gonna help you. Yeah. So you make sure that you use the correct lane to go in the direction that you need to travel. That's gonna be helpful. Yeah. Mirrors, yeah. signal, position. That's what I'm referring to with the correct lane. Okay. Speed, look, that's your routine. So if you apply that routine at every single junction, it gives you a structure. Basically every round bar just be Slow. Yes, you're very good at doing that. Yes, be just slow and go slowly rather than rushing. Yeah. Even when so it's quiet or busy. Yeah. Okay. We really need to work on your right turns yeah, on the roundabout. Is, uh, I don't understand this. Why is this happening to me? Okay. Now? So we'll do some more practice on those. Right, so now the second fault. Okay, so let me just tell you the faults that I'm talking about. Yeah. We're talking about our major faults. Huh? Yes. Which finger? When did I do that? So in total, <laughs> there are um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six major faults. Fish fingers. Okay. So the second major fault was mm -hmm. undue hesitation. You arrived at the roundabout, yeah. Stanmore, yeah. where the sign is covered by the tree. Yeah. Now, when you approach that roundabout, the mm. visibility is open. Open yeah. means it's really good visibility. There's yeah. no obstructions for you to see the traffic on your right. Yeah. Or wherever it is that you need that to see. That was a big pillar there as well. It's like, like you know, like brick stuff. Something there. I'm... That's an obstruction. Yeah. We don't have any obstructions at that roundabout. It's know, really something... open, really clear. Okay, know, you can maybe. see like 200 meters down the right. 200 meters before you even reach the junction. That's how open that is. So as yeah, you yeah. arrived at the roundabout, mm. you stopped and you said it. I don't need to stop. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You okay, stopped. That roundabout. Okay, okay. There was a car behind you. Yeah. That car can also see clearly that yeah. there's no need to stop. stop. Yeah. So what's the dangers of stopping if we can all see and it's open and it's clear? what might happen obviously somebody gonna come hit me or hit somebody from where on my right hand side from the back sorry yes yeah because if yeah. you stop the vehicle behind you has also got good visibility the big roundabout yeah stanmore stanmore one you can also go towards yeah. heathrow which would be turning right which would take you onto a dual carriage and when way. i was saying um okay you said turn left mm -hmm. and i was coming then I stopped, then I thought, you know, two, I had a blocker. Didn't say turn left. Did you turn left or straight ahead, sorry. Yeah. And I said, oh, I have a blocker, I can go. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped in the middle, oh, let me let them go. So because you stopped and it was clear and you actually said, I don't need to stop. Yeah. You're actually stopping traffic, which is dangerous. Yeah. Because they might collide with us if they're not paying attention. Mm. Okay. Undue hesitation. I need to do that again. Now the third serious fault was you were doing 25 miles an hour mm. for a considerable amount of distance mm. after you'd passed a 40 mile an hour sign. Mm. And you said it, you said this is a 40 road and you're driving down the road doing roughly 25 miles an hour, good visibility, roads reasonably wide, no obstructions, no need to do 25 miles an hour. We're holding the traffic <laughs> up behind. 
Sometimes that will cause the traffic <laughs> to want to overtake, which can actually cause an accident with oncoming traffic. Now, the reason why traffic might overtake is because that we're driving slower than the speed limit. If we're doing a speed limit, mm. what are the chances of somebody wanting to overtake? Obviously. They're reduced. A lot less. Yeah. Near zero. Yeah. So, we need to make sure that we're applying the speed limit when it's safe to do so. Okay? So, that would be a serious fault because we're considerably lower than the speed limit, which is dangerous. Okay? All right, I'm yeah. just gonna move on. Yeah, okay. So that was number three, okay? Number four was when you overtook the bicycle. Do you remember you overtook yeah, yeah. the bicycle? Yeah. Okay. But he was safe, I, saw, I, mean, I looked at my left mirror, because I didn't go too close to him. Totally agree with you. It's gone down as road markings. So did you so see the road markings where you overtook? No. Okay, let me tell you. Mm. There was a solid line mm. in the center of the road on your side. Yeah. There was a dotted oncoming, line or coming. broken line yeah. next to it for the oncoming side. Oh, okay. So if you have a solid line on your side of the road, yeah. what does that mean? I can't go with it. It means no overtaking. Okay. And what did you do? Overtaking. So you didn't, Think. you did what wasn't supposed to be done because yeah, the road marking there tells you no overtaking on, now the reason it's there is because there's a bend mm. so if you overtake there you're going to go over and into the oncoming traffic and because of the bend the visibility is reduced mm. so it's a dangerous place to overtake hence okay. the road marking so what would yeah. you do instead next time just let it let me bike go stay behind. stay behind the bike until okay. it's a safe place to overtake <laughs> good job. you did do a reason we could jump but the road markings are there which mean no overtaking <gasps> so no overtaking oh fish being so bloody frustrating so look and see the road oh, markings all right I, um, what i'm gonna do tonight tonight bring okay. a bloody paint make everything straight okay so Nita's <laughs> gonna go draw some road markings of her own okay i'm not an accomplice to this i don't endorse that sunita so just to make sure i'm not encouraging Sunita to go paint the road okay all right so now we're on to number five mm. so do you remember the sign that said wait here just after the bridge yeah road uh road yeah, works. The mark, yeah yeah the man the with the, the umbrella, umbrella yeah. yeah okay yes all right in case anybody's wondering if you look at the sign for road works it looks like a man with an umbrella yeah but i said it all right now where did you stop Okay, that um, I know that was my mistake because it was arrow was there as well, and it was we came from it's like a bridge one, and I said okay I can drive openly. Then I stopped in just in the middle. Then I realized to myself, I'm not doing the right thing or not. Then you said it, so I was thinking okay move back to left because I wasn't sure shall I go there or not because of the road marking. I was going to stay into right lane. I can't go so. Now, where you stopped, what Was did that do to the oncoming traffic? Obviously, um, I blocked them. You blocked them. Okay. Okay, so serious right. fault because well, you needed to. Well, next time that to... arrow, stay in the left. Right? Yeah, and there's a sign yeah. there that said, wait here. Yeah. You want to stop just in front of okay. that sign. Okay. They really need to make this arrow there. <laughs> More road markings for Sunita. You're going to need a big bucket of paint. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, this, um, is that number? So, we've done Five. this one. We've done undue hesitation. We've done the appropriate speed, which was 25 on a 40. We have done overtaking the bicycle. But that one, remember, remember I was saying, I was talking to myself same time. Mm. I, I said to myself, I don't know what speed is here. Then I said, oh, it's 40. Mm -hmm. But then after that 40, when I passed, I did pick it up to 35. You, you, you did, but it took a while. So as soon as you get to that sign that's 40, but before, I didn't what's know stopping what, you from going 40? I didn't know before, I didn't, you know, like. You said it. Yeah, after the past us went. But you've 35. gone, you see as far as the house down there? Yeah. That's where you started going 35, but the, the sign for 40 is here. Oh. So all the way up to that house, you've done 25 miles an hour. <laughs> I was driving. Okay, that's fine, I remember. All right. That. Now Sorry. we talked about the last one. Mm, just, oh. And we talked about the first one. Yeah. So one, two, three, Four, and then we did five and six we talked about those yeah. so those are all your major faults okay minor faults you've got one two three four <laughs> minor faults uh, when you did your forwards bay parking it mm. took a lot for you to maneuver the car around yeah. 
Okay, you did take the full time limit that you're allowed, which is four minutes, but you actually managed to get the car in between the road markings at the end in the bay. So you did complete that maneuver without serious fault, mm. but there was quite a lot of moving around there. Okay, so minor fault for your control for the corrections. Okay, God, that's you want to do fair. it all in one and then you get no marks at all. If you have that's to correct any maneuver, you will receive a minor that's fault. Fair, okay, You've got two minor faults from clearance. Mm -hmm. One of them was you were saying something about the person parked in the middle of the road and yeah. how inappropriate that position is for yeah. them to be parked. Yeah. But as you've gone round them, you've got yeah. very close to that car, okay? Um, there was also another time where you got quite close to, uh, I think it was a lorry, as you're passing the lorry, it's just I think that was where the roadworks were, quite close to the lorry. Okay, um, now, another minor fault here for change direction. Do you remember we just talked about the car that's parked in the middle of the road? Yeah. So when you're going to go round an obstruction in the road, yeah. how do you know if it's safe and there's no overtaking vehicles like motorbikes before, let's say, we're going oh, round okay. and over to the right? right yeah. So what do you need to check before you move or Blind change direction shoulder. to the right? If you want to, if you feel that's necessary, fine. Mm. But we must at least check what before we... Move off or yeah? mirrors. Yes. So there wasn't any mirror check because you were so focused and giving all the attention on why they've parked there and getting annoyed with why they've parked there. Oh, okay. That's actually taking your concentration of what you really need to be doing. Okay. Safety checks, being a responsible driver, okay. making sure that you're now not going to make an accident, accident. Okay. due to their oh. position. So somebody can make you do something yeah. because they're, they're posi position. positioned wrong yeah. or they're doing something that's incorrect, okay. but then we must show that we are a responsible, safe driver okay. and not have a knock-on effect onto other road users. Okay? After I did. <laughs> All right. Because I'm looking straight. Okay, I didn't check behind me. Okay. Okay, um, oh. that is it for your minor faults. So that's the end of the mock mm. test. But thank you very much, Sunita. Please do leave Sunita a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you find any of this useful. And Sunita has her own little playlist as well, Driving with Sunita. Why not go check that out now? And yeah. we'll see you next time. See you. Bye. Bye.